Hi, uh, Stefan Smith, Art Smith Craftworks. Um, I was working on some of my uh, airships earlier, and um, as you know, I use a lot of repurposed materials, a lot of repurposed uh, pieces and parts that I find, and it made me think that I should probably shoot a video of something that I had started to use uh, as parts for one of my airships. A while back, I was outside and I found um, some of these, it's like landscape edging pieces that in the wind had blown around or whatever and so being the person that I am I picked those up and you can see that they have kind of a scallop uh, edge on one end and a jagged edge on the other that's I'm sure meant for sticking into the ground and I thought well you know I had three pieces of it two showing here but three pieces that I could pull apart and those would make great um, airship fins so what I did was I, I, I pulled those pieces apart, like I said, and if I can get these uh, apart with one hand, I'll, I'll show you what I, what I mean here. Hang on one second, let me pull these apart. So, so I've got like individual pieces, and then what I did was I went, and I don't know if you can see it or not, there's a, there's a pencil line there that I, that I marked as the curve of one of my airships. And then I took those pieces, um, or took one of them so far, and cut that on my bandsaw so that it's got now the contour of uh, the airship body. And all I'll do is I, I need to scrub them off, sand them up a little bit, and, and paint them. But as you can tell, using uh, this airship that I've got right here, that piece will now fit quite nicely here as as one of the fins and you know really it kind of looks pretty pretty tough um, that'll wind up looking great when I get that uh, painted and patinaed so that's just another example of what I mean by uh, using scrap pieces and parts that you find just any place and turning those into something entirely different when they're finished so now this is what these three pieces of um, the, the garden edging look like once they've had a, just a layer of um, uh, white uh, plastic primer put on there. And so obviously you're going to need to do that on, on both sides. And then from there I'm going to go in and paint those uh, a nice metallic color, probably copper. Um, and then I'll, and I'll show you how I uh, proceed from, from that step. Now, like I said, uh, I've gone in and I've painted copper color on the uh, garden edging here. You can see as we come up a little bit close, it's got kind of a kind of a hammered copper finish to it, and it took a little bit of time because I had to do both sides, of course, and then wait for those to dry. The next step, of course, is going to be to uh, add a patina and some riveting to those, and I'll show you that in the next step. Okay, so here's what the fins that are made out of the edging look like now. Uh, I showed you before what they look like painted with the copper color. Now I've gone in and put you know, the corrosion on there. Again, uh, I showed another uh, example of fin construction in another video, and I mentioned that the color that I use for the corrosion most of the time is kind of this apple green, but you can use ones that lean more towards the blue end of the spectrum so that they look more aqua or, or something like that. Um, different types of copper, brass, whatever, corrode with a little bit different colors, so it doesn't matter a lot if you want to be, you know, really accurate about it. You know, you'd have to study a little bit more what particular metals corrode like. So. Uh, you know, get creative. You can do all kinds of different things with it if you're going to try to do something like this. Steampunk is, uh, you know, wide open with regards to what it can look like, what it can represent. Um, this is what I do. Uh, enjoy. Feel free to send me comments. Artsmithcraftworks.com or on Facebook at facebook.com slash artsmithcraftworks. Love to have your comments and suggestions. And uh, keep watching, there's more to come.